180 watts off the All Powers 200 watt flexible solar panel. That's pretty cool. This is All Powers 200 watt flexible solar panel. They sent it to me for a review and test and that's what we're going to do in this video. It's about uh, two and a half feet wide, four and a half feet tall or long and it comes with MC4 connectors. It's IP68 rated, which means it's waterproof, so it can stay out in the weather and the rain and the snow, and you don't have any problems with that. And it has a unique surface to it to help improve its performance when it doesn't have optimal angling to the sun. So let's go inside the uh, shop here and we'll unbox it. I'll show you how it comes packaged and what it all comes with. This is the All Powers Flexible Solar Panel. 200 watt version and they have also a 100 watt version so let's open it up I've actually already cut the tape on the box so we can see what's inside it nice big foam padding that's nice well, that's about an inch thick on the padding it comes with a packet of items and the way I understand this if you order just the panel I don't believe, maybe All Powers will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, there won't be any uh, adapter cords with it. It will just come with probably an instruction, looks like a little instruction booklet here. Tells you about the specs on the panel. And then a bunch of Velcro fasteners. Looks like there's eight of them that came with this panel. And you can use that in the grommets on the edges of the panel to fasten it to something. A boat rail or the roof of your van or your RV or something like that or top of your shed. If you order the panel along with the power bank as a combo, you're ordering them both at the same time. The website says that it will come with this power adapter. So this goes from MC4 connectors with an XT60 to use with their power banks. And the panel itself has MC4 connectors on it and a couple of leads might be uh, oh, a couple feet long. Nice Velcro zip ties there or holding that together. Let's pull this foam off the top. Yeah, this is, this is pretty uh, incredible packaging in my opinion for a flexible solar panel. Real nice, real nice packaging. And then here we've got the panel itself. And that is all that's there. And there's foam on the bottom as well. You can see how flexible it is. It feels very sturdy and very, very tough. I'll give you a shot of the uh, spec sheet on the back of the panel here. Very, it feels really tough. This is a 200 watt panel. It's got a special surface on it. It's kind of, I wouldn't say porous, but it's kind of bumpy. And that's supposed to cause the light to reflect and add more power to the panel when you're not at optimal conditions with the sun. So if you're not full 90 degrees, maybe you have a 45 degree angle from the sun hitting the panel, that's supposed to create a little more power by uh, bouncing that light off on these little, little bumps and creating reflections. Very nice, I really like this panel. So far, so good. We'll get it hooked up. And I'm going to charge the uh, little power bank that they sent with it. And it should be, in my opinion, according to the specs and the, and the numbers, it should be a really good pair up with that particular power bank. But it says water resistant IP68. Very, very nice looking panel. Curious to see how it will perform. Whoa, hit the camera. <laughs> This solar panel has a 38.4 open circuit voltage. So let's use the fluke meter and we'll test it. And it's just sitting out here. It's not optimized or anything for the angle of the sun. I just have it laying flat on my driveway with no shade on the panel at all. And let's see what our open circuit voltage is showing. Thirty-five point eight five. See if I can get that to stay. I want to make sure you can see that meter. Thirty-five point eight four. So I'm going to leave this plugged in, and we'll just try to 
prop it up a little bit and see if we can get just a little bit better with the current angle of the sun. Looks like 36.33, 34 is about the best I'm going to do with my current sun situation. The sun is pretty low on the horizon. It's early morning. But that's the open circuit voltage of the All Powers 200 watt flexible panel. Now we'll hook it up to the All Powers R600 portable power station, which I'm currently testing and we'll do a review video on at a later point. And we'll see how this solar panel performs when it's charging up a portable power station. So here's the adapter cord that will come with the package if you get a portable power station along with the solar panel. Just under 5 feet in length, but it goes MC4 to an XT60 connector. And then this is the uh, R600 portable power station by All Powers. And it just plugs right in. And then you can connect the MC4 connectors to the portable solar panel or the flexible solar panel. And you can charge the power station. So let's set this up. We'll turn it on. Adjust my camera so you can actually see it. See if I can get this set without a glare so you can read that screen. And we'll see how the panel does. And I'm just going to set that solar panel in the, in the driveway, flat on the ground, just as it was previously. And we'll test this and see what happens. So right now we're at 72%. No input, no output on this uh, little portable power station. Well, the panel's laying completely flat. There's no optimization whatsoever for the angle of the sun, but it is not in the shade. Just laying flat out on the driveway. Okay, I've got the panel plugged in. This is a 200 watt panel. Currently, with a real poor angle on the panel, on the panel laying flat, we're getting 108 watts of input. And it shows it's going to charge this power station in about an hour. It'll be fully charged from where it currently is. I took some of the packing material and blocked one row lengthwise of the solar panel cells for partial blockage in this direction. That's knocked it clear down to 19 watts of input. So let me move it again and we'll shade partially all four rows and we'll see what happens there. And now I've got it blocked in the other direction with just one row widthwise and the rest is completely in the sun with no blockage. And that knocks it down to basically zero. We're getting one watt of input, which is partial shading on all four rows. Solar panels are made to be in the sun, so I wouldn't expect it to be any better than that. So let me remove it. We'll see where we're at. And I'm going to adjust the angle a little bit, see if I can get a little better optimization. We'll put it from totally flat to a little bit vertical and see if I can get a better wattage input. So I've got it propped up approximately 45 degree angle for the early morning sun. Just propped it up on some stuff. <laughs> Got plenty of stuff laying around. There we go. 180 watts off the All Powers 200 watt flexible solar panel. So that's pretty cool. It's obviously important to angle it to the sun the best that you can. I'll be doing a review video on this All Powers R600 portable power station. And if you'd like to see that video, click the link on the screen now. I'll meet you over there.